All right, guys, I know we covered a lot in the last video, but that was just the first scenario. Disabling the submit button based on the form state being valid or invalid. The second scenario is disabling the submit button when the form is submitting in the background. For example, let's say you have a user registration form. When you fill in the details and click on submit, an API call is made in the background to register the user. During this time, it is really important to disable the submit button. If not, the user might end up clicking the submit button twice or more number of times and this could be even more troublesome if the form is a checkout form in an e-commerce site. So the second scenario is to disable the submit button till the background operation completes. To implement this, we again have to go back to the formic props. If you go through the properties, we can find a property called is submitting. This is a Boolean property which Formic will set to true if a form submission has been attempted. So all we have to do is check if is submitting is true and if it is, disable the submit button. So back in VS Code, we need to change the disable condition. Now for the sake of understanding only this second scenario of disabling while form is being submitted, I'm going to remove the condition from the previous video. A new condition is that the button will be disabled if formic dot is submitting is true. And I have also cleared out the initial values which I had set in the previous video. So now let's head to the browser and test this out. On page load, the submit button is enabled, which is fine. When I click on submit, there are a couple of things that happen for which we need to take a look at the formic props. I'm going to clear the log, click on submit, and you can see that we have a few logs. I'm just going to inspect the first and the last one. If we inspect the first one, you can see that is submitting is set to true. And if I inspect the last one, is submitting is set to false. So when you click on submit, Formic will automatically set is submitting to true. That would disable the submit button. Once the validation completes, if at all there were errors, Formic will automatically set is submitting to false and that is the reason the submit button is enabled again. It happens so quickly that we can't notice it. But you can take it for granted, it's working as expected. Now hang on, I mentioned that Formic will set is submitting to false only if there are errors. But what happens if there are no errors? Let's quickly try that out. I'm going to fill in the values for the first four fields and then click on submit. The data gets submitted, but our submit button is still disabled. And this is an intended behavior because Formic does not know when your API is going to respond back. So we have to manually set is submitting to false again. And the way to do that is in the on submit method. It turns out that on submit receives a second prop. Let's call it on submit props. And then let's log it to the console. Submit props on submit props. If you save the file, go back to the browser, fill in the values, and then click on submit, inspect the submit props. We see a few methods that Formic provides. Of these, what we want is the set submitting method. So back in our on submit method, we are going to call on submit props dot set submitting, passing in a value of false. This will update is submitting to false, which will in turn enable the submit button. Let's give this a go. Save the file, head to the browser, 
fill in the values. and click on submit. The data is submitted and the button is enabled again. Of course, in a real scenario, you would wait for the API response and then call the set submitting function. If you now add back the condition from the previous video, we're going to have disabled is equal to not formic dot is valid or formic dot is submitting. So to summarize the disabling of submit button, we make use of two properties from the formic props. Is valid, which indicates the state of our form being valid or invalid. And of course, the is submitting property, which indicates whether the form is currently being submitted or not. Now, I know these two videos could have been one single video where I simply let you know that you have to set these two values to the disabled attribute and be done with it in one minute. But as always, I want you to understand why we are writing the code that we write. Anyway, that is what I have on the disabling submit button topic. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.